Hi. Um, have you ever, like, been told you have to keep a secret? And I don't mean, like, this has nothing to do with, like, sexual abuse or anything like that. Um, like, it has to do with my roommate. I've often had problems with my roommate. He has borderline personality disorder, and I'm not saying everybody that has BPD is, um, very difficult to live with, but, um, we're all different, and I have to say that I used to have it. I got undiagnosed because I was really lucky to get really great care, and, um, eventually that turned into panic disorder, so I'm no better than anybody else. I try to keep my nose clean, but what I am nervous about is, like, I'm trying to figure out a way, um, because people are going to ask questions, and I guess I'm supposed to say, like, um, well, I can't tell you this about my roommate because I'm supposed to keep it a secret. Like, I was thinking of making up some lie or something. I'm not really into that. I can't say that I never lie. If I feel like I'm going to get in really big trouble and it's really easy and a really light lie, I might say something that's untrue. But this is, has to do with her and I don't want to have anything to do with it. So, at first I was really angry that she said this, thinking like, when you live with someone, um, sometimes I don't really think that she understands that I'm a part of, like, that I have feelings that I'm a part of, you know, this household, and she's a part, and we have to co, like, exist, because the amount of times she has called the police, or the ambulance, or they've just shown up, unexpected, um, unbeknownst to me, is more than you could ever imagine. Um, and I'm just, um, right now feeling a lot better because I've had a few days to kind of decide that I'm just going to make it obvious that I'm not going to say anything, so obviously there is something that they can go and ask her. Because it has nothing to do with me. I go to Codependence Anonymous, um, I've been going there for, um, pretty steady for four years, and, um, I've finished all the steps. I have a sponsor who's my therapist. I'm finding it very difficult because all the stuff is happening, and my therapist is taking two weeks off over the holidays, um, and also my mental health case manager is taking two weeks off and I have no backup, and, you know, I can deal with these things myself, but I'm not really sure that I can, because, um, I've just been feeling feelings of depression, and it's, you know, it's hard, because, um, I'm not doing as much self-care, but, um, I'm not doing too terribly, you know, but I just wish that I felt great, you know, but I almost feel like I have bipolar disorder that when I'm on an up, I'm almost hypomanic, so it's my borderline, uh, sorry, my bipolar, and when I'm down, it must be my bipolar too, so like, am I, you know, and I can be in the middle, but I never really, <laughs> I don't understand, I just don't know how to really, like, face it, I've been going to more meetings on intherooms.com, um, just mostly listening to people talk. Today I was able to share, and, um, that really helps. I think it helps just talking about things. And playing with my kitties. My cat, Johan, wanted to go out and it's like minus 8 or minus 10 Celsius today. And uh, he's getting pretty antsy, so I'm getting him a wheel, a cat running wheel. And, um, that's not going to come until February. So kind of fun. But that's COVID for you. Anyway, I appreciate this technology. <laughs>